In the previous tutorial, we created the mesh and section definitions for the various components of the syringe assembly using the automatic mesh initialization. We will now assign the material properties to complete the section definitions. To meet design requirements, the stopper is modeled as a hyperelastic material with rubber-like behavior. The remaining parts of the syringe are modeled as polypropylene with linear elastic properties. We will first create the hyperelastic material definition. Before we proceed, ensure that you are in the Structural Model Creation app. From the Setup section of the Action Bar, select the Create Material tool. Specify a name for the material. Under Core Material section, expand Add Domains and make sure that the simulation domain is checked. Once you click OK, a material definition and a material browser dialog box will come up. In the material definition dialog box, specify the hyperelastic properties for the rubber using the Ogden n equals to 2 potential. Click OK to complete the material definition for the rubber. Follow a similar process to create the material definition for the polypropylene material. Notice that the two material definitions created in this session are listed on the top of the material browser list. Next, we will assign the materials to the section definitions. You can do it either from the specification tree or from the modeling manager. For this tutorial, we will use the Modeling Manager. To open the Modeling Manager, right-click in the 3D area and select the Modeling Manager tool. In the Modeling Manager, the section definitions are highlighted in red to indicate that they are incomplete. To assign a material to a section, Select the action column of that material. Choose apply to apply that material to a specific section. Once done, click on the green check mark to close the context bar. Similarly, apply the remaining materials to the sections. For example, Apply the polypropylene to the plunger section and the rubber material to the stopper section. You will notice that as the section definitions become complete, 
the highlighted red color in the modeling manager disappears. This brings us to the conclusion of this section of the tutorial.